Welcome to a beginner's friendly tutorial. Today I'll be going over a brand new plugin for Dash 3D called Heat. Now at the time of this video, the plugin is free to use until March 31st of 2024. Now let's begin. The plugin's gonna look like this. Now it's a bit glitchy. Um, as you can see, these are the plans so far. This is the monthly plan. And this here is the annual plan, but right now it's free to use um, until March 31st. Anyway, let's go back to the, here is, is the library, which I'll click here. And it's all kinds of animation. I do have Das up. So I have my Storm character. And now this is how, how this plugin works. Let's just say I wanted this animation right here, right? All you do is just click on it to add this animation to your character. This is how easy it is. See this little green dot right here? See how it says Blender? Now I'm using Dash right now, but if I click right here, you see if you had Unity, you can click on Unity if you want it, but I'm using Dash. I'm just gonna click on Dash, right? And see right here where it says Import? I'm just gonna click that Import. There it go. That's how easy that is. That's how you would be able to bring that animation inside Dash 3D. Just that easy. Now, let's just say, for example, you wanted to get specific animation, right? Let's actually go back so we can make it a little bit bigger. You can actually filter too. Now, it's a little glitchy, but um, yeah, let's just say I want action. I'm going to click action and let's go down. I want run. Okay, and then we click out of there. So you can see, you can kind of hover your mouse over and see what it looked like. And that's basically a tag. You know, you can add more if you're looking for more and you can clear this tag and it'll bring all the animation back to you. You can also just type it up here if you're looking for something like, let's just say rifle animation. I'll type rifle. As you can see at the top, it says rifle sprint, rifle crouch. You'll get nothing but rifle animation. It'll be the same thing if you're ready to bring that into Dash 3D or whatever program you're using. You just double click it. Actually, just single click it. Make sure it's selected to Dash. And then you can hit the import button. All right, so we covered that right now, and you you can see these. Basically, this here is if you want them a little bit bigger, and this actually just makes it a little bit smaller. The next right here is collection. Now, basically, you can collect animation. So if I click here, you can see I already kind of started some folders. Basically, you can um, save different animation to different folders. Maybe you want to save rifle animation all in one folder so you can find it easily and you want to save running all in the running folder so if you click on it right here you'll see i have one thing in here right now right now let's just say i wanted to add something into there right this is how you would do it say i want to add this one here this little clapping you see these little three lines you click on that and we'll go right here to where it says save to collection Remember those two folders, Nathaniel and GT? I'm just going to actually hit the circle. Just check it. And we good. And I can click out of there. It's a bit glitchy, but. All right. Now, if I click up in here now, you see I got that clapping animation in the folder. Now, this doesn't have a, let's just say you wanted to get rid of this because maybe your folder is getting packed and there's certain animation you want to get rid of. Take out the folder. All you would do is go right here again. Now it's not a delete button, but um, what I found out is if you go to save to collection again, just uncheck it now from the folder. Click here, the X. Now if we click out and we go back here, you see it's gone. That's how you can remove it from the folder. We also have like, let's just say you wanted to make certain animation favorites like you want to make this your favorite right you want so you see how it says add to favorites just click here and now when we go over here my library you can click here and you can go to your favorites and you'll find it right there 
one more thing. Let's just say you wanted to remove this from your favorites. You click back here and just click remove from favorites. See, it's gone. All right, now the last thing, this one here right now is the truth. This is the game changer. Let's say you had Xsense, some animation from Xsense. Basically kind of retargets it for you and you can place it inside Dash 3D. Now how it would work is, so I'll click here, right? I'll go to desktop, there we go. So I'm just actually gonna see this FBX, I'm just gonna click it and open it. Now under here, I'm gonna find, see it's move one. And I'm just gonna upload it. Now this was me shadow boxing. So this one here, I just did like 10 seconds. So this one, I was just kind of testing out the app. Now, basically you can actually, um, let me pause it. You can make little adjustments like to the shoulders. See how you can, if you wanna adjust it, you can make adjustments to the elbows before you save it or whatever. Once you're done and you, you're ready, then you just hit save. All right, once it's done, see right here where it says movement name, I'll just say shadow boxing. Right here, tell us a description. It's shadow boxing. And this here, you don't have to worry about, and tags. So basically, since it's shadow boxing, this is like, I'll click here and I'll give it a, it's an action. And I'll also put fight and fighting. So I'll click fighting and fight. Then just upload that. Now um, to find that animation, right? All you do is go over here back to my library and then you just click upload it. Now I actually did it already before but as you can see, I have my shadow boxing. Let's make sure this is set to DAS. And let's just import that. Okay, look like it's in. Now let's hit play. Yeah, you can see our character in there boxing, bobbing and weaving. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. I know I was a little bit all over the place, but um, hopefully you got it. And um, if you did, consider subscribing and like always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.